COVID-19 has brought a lot of anxiety for many families, and that is certainly true for pregnant women. A recent study from Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston found more than one in three pregnant women and new moms reported significant levels of depression. Before the pandemic, that number was closer to 15%. As Kate Raddatz shares, the uncertainty of COVID has many, made many couples rethink their family plans. The thought of being pregnant with COVID was honestly terrifying. Jackie found out in January 2020 that she and her husband were expecting their first child. Not long after, COVID made its way to Minnesota, and Jackie, a nurse, was riddled with anxiety the rest of her pregnancy. You could kind of say, like, I was robbed of a lot of these experiences. But, um, you know, in another way, I was kind of blessed that this was my first, so it's not like I knew what I was missing. She quit her job last month to avoid bringing home the virus to her three-month-old. I don't think I could ever forgive myself if something I was doing impacted my child. Jackie isn't alone. A recent survey of 4,000 people showed 30% had changed their fertility plans because of COVID-19. Of those, nearly half are delaying having kids. It's kind of one of those things, like, do we wait and then space the kids really far apart because there is something going on or are we gonna let this affect, you know, should we risk it? and then we kind of get the family dynamic we were hoping for. 30 year old Taylor and her husband pushed back having another baby because of the pandemic. The CDC says pregnant women are at an increased risk for severe illness, even death from COVID-19. Their babies might be at increased risk for preterm birth. Taylor wonders whether or not she would get the vaccine if she did get pregnant when there have been no studies on pregnant women. That was my number one concern. I totally feel like I'm on my own. Kate Raditz, WCCO4 News. An OBGYN with Hennepin Healthcare told WCCO that in general they're not recommending women delay getting pregnant, but that is an individual decision based on risks and benefits they should discuss with their doctor.